Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy George, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be checking out the new Summer Quest that has just dropped in Dota Super Supercard. So I thought I'd do, let's just get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video and the quest is now officially in the game. So I'm going to run you guys through what you need to do in order to complete the quest as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So we'll start from bottom and go and we'll work our way up to the top. So the bottom one is use your suit move 10 times. This gives you a shark tooth. These are obviously going to be for ingredients so you guys can do more fusions, so that's all good. Suit move 10 times for one. I think that should have been at least two or three because 10 suit moves is quite a lot. Complete a survivor at rank five or higher. That's actually not bad, and you have to do that twice. That's quite easy, that's quite doable. Again, it's only for one umbrella. Acquire eight tickets. Again, only for one umbrella. And play a game in any event mode or money in the bank. Again, that's really easy to do. That's for three coconuts. The one thing it does say, though, is these three here are repeatable. I don't know if that means that once you complete it once, you can do it again and again and again and kind of print a lot of these ingredients. But I guess we'll see when we try it. And then complete all four to get a shark tooth. I'm a bit disappointed in this. I, in my opinion, this should have guaranteed you a summer card of your tier. At the same time, this is a fusion ingredient quest. So it wasn't ever going to be anything for summer cards. I, you get a six summer card and you can use it in your top eight or anything like that. At the end of the day, you're getting ingredients here. And I think for what it is, isn't actually that bad. I'll be streaming some of this gameplay, getting some of this done over on my Twitch. So if you guys haven't followed the Twitch yet, twitch.tv slash georgelinehc is obviously the place to be. Link in the description as always. But like I said, I don't know. We'll see how repeatable these are because this is easy, easy enough to do. Any event mode or money in the bank. Of you guys know I don't like playing money in the bank, but event mode that can be legit anything. So team event, solo event, whatever. We've got women's GU coming up this weekend, so that'll be easy enough to do. The tickets as well. I've done all mine for today, so that will have to be done tomorrow. Obviously, survivors will do probably on stream tonight or tomorrow. And then suit moves as well, quite easy to do if you play a lot of PvP. So you just just use them in pvp i guess but i mean for what it is it isn't actually that bad i i actually think this is okay i think we can let this one run i'm gonna come back to you guys and we have a quick look at the store as well right then guys here you've got also got the announcement for the georgia summer quest starting today complete all the objectives by the 16th at 12 p.m pacific that's five days have a quick look at the store so again we've got the tropic turmoil which is for the summer cards two and a half k a pack i ain't gonna be touching these you've got the cane packs back in there you've also got a coconut deluxe and portrait pack for the undertaker let's have a look at the image that's actually quite a cool image to be fair if you guys are wondering where i finished in code Breaker as well i did want to mention that real quick i managed to finish 3037th for me only having used the credits from the battle pass as well as a view of mine jb having sent across 500 from the card backpack that was available on the website. It's actually not a bad finish. I'm quite happy with that. Obviously you guys know Code Breaker is my favorite event and you guys also know from um, from history, from our last Code Breaker stream, where we did finish rank one, two, three for Seth Rollins, but I had more time for that. I also had a way more credits to my uh, disposability for that. But the limited credits I had in limited time, I'll take it. This is obviously the image I'm rocking on him as well. If you guys just wanna quickly know what image that is, I'll put it on here. This one actually doesn't look too bad. I did try this one earlier. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. It's just got a weird outer glow, but it's a SmackDown one smackdown special edition card whatever it is i i quite like this this kind of like with the smoke in the background works quite well and with that being said that is gonna do it for this video if you guys have liked this video be sure to like and subscribe already let me know what you guys think of the quest down below in the comment section and also where you guys finished in code breaker and yeah i'll get you guys on my next one very very soon Bye.